。而大温地區嘅烏克蘭裔社區對於祖國正係受到戰火洗禮，亦都係感到焦慮。今日下晝就有大批嘅人士喺温哥華市中心集會，抗議俄羅斯發動侵略。羅佩珊嘅報導。喺新西敏嘅一間英語及烏克蘭雙語天主教堂，神職人員喺今日嘅例行禮儀中，特別為烏克蘭祈求和平。Soldiers who already died in the last day for the widows, the orphans, the internally displaced, for all those who who need our prayers. 而本地一批支持烏克蘭嘅人士，今日下晝就喺温哥華美術館外集會，抗議俄羅斯嘅軍事入侵。有本地學者指出，各國政府要果斷行動，包括加拿大今朝宣布嘅經濟嚴厲制裁。Strong sanctions. The focus is on quickly and swiftly to create as much as a deterrence as possible. Gessner 指出，喺多元族裔共處嘅家國，俄羅斯裔同烏克蘭裔民眾都應該尋求和平穩定作為共同底線，並且援助難民。Canadians from all cultural and ethnic backgrounds. Can and should unite behind the idea of a rule-based system of international law. Already, you see refugees pouring over the Ukrainian-Hungarian border, and those people need to be housed, they need to be fed, they need to receive shelter, and just sending money to support that is essential. 另外，卑斯省曾經亦都喺二零一四年撥出三萬元人道支援克里米亞。卑斯公共安全廳長范和富對於今次戰事亦都作出回應。The federal government puts in place sanctions or restrictions on either, let's say, for example, contacts or 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 trade dealings. Then the province would obviously abide by those abide by those decisions. 新時代電視羅佩珊報導。